Goal setting is one of the biggest mistakes people make. Every year, they review, they reflect. That's great, but they just set goals. But hold on. Goals can't be the thing that separate the most successful and the most unsuccessful. Why? Because everybody sets goals. They're successful and unsuccessful. So what separates success and non-success can't be just goals. There has to be something underneath it because goals is just about the thing you want. So what's underneath it? What could separate the good and the average from the great and the excellent, the successful, the wealthy, the influential, the powerful, the attractive, and the opposite, the unattractive, the, the poor, the, the weak? What separates them? The systems, habits, and processes behind the goals. You see, if it were just about goals, wouldn't more people be successful? If it was just about goals, wouldn't you not be watching this video? Obviously, there's something more you want. Because Dwayne Johnson ain't watching this video. He's got it covered. He understands this principle already. So he's not clicking on this video. <laughs> right? So, systems and processes and environment are key cogs in the wheel that most people ignore. So now in this new year, at any time in your life, really, it doesn't really matter when you're watching this. It's just an opportune time right now. I don't set goals anymore for myself, really, or not without setting systems, habits, and environment behind goals to progress me. You see, goals are useful for setting a direction, but systems and habits actually are the things that make progress. I've talked about this at deep extent in my book summary and review of James Clear's Atomic Habits, which you can see on this channel. It's just people spend way too much time setting goals. They write their whole list, they do their SMART goals, SMART, measurable, actionable, timely, blah, 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 reliable, all that stuff. It, it's fine, it's a good start, but it's a big mistake, which I used to do a lot when I was younger. I would write my goal list, you might write your goal list, and then that's it. Yeah, you might have vague intentions of like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. No, not vague intentions, specific plans and systems set up. So you have a goal. What are you going to do to get there now? Okay, you might want to be an actor. You might want to play an instrument. You might want to get great grades. You might want to get in the best shape of your life. Okay, what's your plan for that? What systems are you going to set up? So the question is not what, let's say you look up to a certain actor, Will Smith. Man, man I, I wish I could act like him, a musician or an artist, Jay-Z. Man, wish I could rap like him, Beyonce. Wish I could dance like her, Les Twins, right? You don't look at the goals they set. You look at the habits they did when they were in your position to get to where they got. You, know, you don't even look at the habits and systems they're doing now. Because where, what they're doing now is what they're maintaining. They're using to maintain and build and refine at their level of excellence. That's not the stuff you need to look at. If you're looking at someone with a million subscribers and you want to be out on a channel with a million subscribers one day, you don't look at what they're doing now. You look at what they did to get to the dance. I don't look at what Michael Jordan did once he entered the league. I don't look at what Kobe did once he got to the league. Or once he did 10 years in the league. I look at what did he happen when he got in there. How did he separate himself? What did he do as a rookie? What did he do when he was a teenager? You need to ask that same question for people at your level. If you're only making $50,000 a year, you need to ask not what the person making $500,000 a year is doing. You need to ask, what did the person do to get from 50 to 500? And how do you get there quicker, more efficiently? What lessons can you learn? So what do you do? You pay, invest, and then hire mentors, businessmen and women, people who are in the position doing what you want to do. You pay for their time. You do their courses. You watch their videos, you listen to their podcasts, and you take fucking notes. You shut up, you listen, you think about asking really, really good questions, just like this, and then you set a plan of doing those habits and systems to get there. People look at people with six packs, and they're being like, okay, I'm going to do their workout. I'm going to follow their nutrition. Oh, my God.
it's my field so it just it's it resonates deeply you know just the health and wellness and field no you need to do what they did when they're at a similar level of body composition you see the beautiful thing is even if you don't have goals which is fine absolutely fine you'll actually get further with no goals but having systems and habits in place versus having goals with uh kind of kinder or no goals or systems consistent consistently in place why because goals are the spark they set the general direction but systems and habits actually progress you they get you moving down the conveyor belt they are the conveyor belt they are the elevator that gets you up or down they are the trajectory of movement and inertia towards where you want to generally go and so hiring an acting coach hiring an actual strength and conditioning coach for your health and wellness goals starting a university degree to give you foundational knowledge and experience in the field that you want to work in getting to sleep sleeping eight to nine hours going to bed waking up with the sun setting blocks of two to three hours of deep deliberate work something lex friedman does something he's been doing a long time do i know if he did that when when he was much less successful i don't know but again a principle that you can take and system and habit that you can apply to yourself as probably a good idea to get you progressing towards betterment and your potential so goals cannot be the only thing you do otherwise you will always continually be mediocre or you will you will you just have suboptimal gains you will have suboptimal progress I'm not gonna say you won't, you won't be successful because plenty of people are successful who just set goals. Like it does, ha- I don't say plenty of people, it does happen, right? But there's luck and there's serendipity and there's just life happens. There's a million things that influence people's success. But if there's one principle that applies across the board, the most one of the most consistent is systems and habits and a good environment that encourage growth and progress. One of them, for example, is savage consistency one of the things i took mental note on with joe rogan is he said when he was first doing his podcast he simply focused on being consistent having one out a week minimum i have a podcast i haven't been doing that at times i did i haven't been doing that right now so i cannot expect anywhere near the type of trajectory of progress that a guy like rogan or any of these big podcasts experience if i don't even have the audacity to be consistent or as consistent however you see me turning up here essentially every week on this channel on my social media platforms because i understand the principle of consistency is a habit that i must maintain if i am to expect any monicum of decent progress and upward trajectory you must now ask yourself what habits and systems do you need to implement to get you where you want to get to fuck your goals fuck your new year's resolutions set systems good habits and a healthy encouraging uplifting environment and you will win If you guys want to see more of this type of content, get early access, exclusive resources and writings that I don't share anywhere else, you can click the Patreon link below, join my Patreon, and that'll be the group for people who want to elevate and get to that next level and see some resources on topics like this. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.